Greetings YouTube, Dark Swordsman here, and I am back for more Final Fantasy X. And in today's episode, we are going to be doing some optional content, which is going after the secret Aeon Animar. But before we can do that, we need to leave the dome after defeating Lady Unaleska last episode. Which we're going to go ahead and do now. We are going to have to come back in here in a moment, but for now, we'll go ahead and just make our way out. summoning's gone but i'll think of something just give me a little more time Aren't we the happy-looking bunch? Frana. Frana! Frana! Where? 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 That all you can say? Why don't you think of something? Why don't you think of something? Well? Any good ideas? Come on, help us! What do we know? Sin is jet. Thus you have a link, a bond with sin. That may be our key. So, what do we do? We think, and we wait. Two things I'm bad at. He says to me that he's disappointed in her, but at the same time doesn't want to be annoyed at her because he's happy that she's alive. Talk about torn emotions. Okay, so from this point on, we now have full access to Blitzball now. And we can play anywhere and anytime. Um, for now, I'm just going to save my game here. Now, we do need... to trigger the next cutscene first before we can go where we want to go. So we are going to have to do just a little bit of story here, and just to progress. And for that we're going to go and make our way all the way up to the top. 
top here to where Yuna and Kamari are, and we can have a little conversation with the pair of them. No good at all. What are you talking about? All this time I've been thinking about how to defeat sin. But I beyond the teachings of Yevon. I I know nothing. I'm sorry. You not no apologies. But apology is running. Yuna never run away. <laughs> Thank you, Kamari. So, uh, Kamari, you got any good ideas? Yevin's teachings. The teachings won't help us fight sin. No answer in the teachings. Answers lie outside. Must know both sides to find answer. Both sides. Micah knows much. Find him. Make him talk. That's it! Kimari, you rock! <clears throat> right then, with that bit of dialogue now done, we can make our way back downstairs. Back to the bridge. And when we get down there, we're going to find ourselves interrupted by Riku and Waka. I just had a great idea. It was my idea. Let me tell them. It's like this, yeah? I just thought... The hymn's the key. Ah! The hymn? Sir Jack likes the hymn of the faith, correct? Yeah. That's why he was listening to it in Makalania. Sin. Violence incarnate, listening peacefully. Uh, I know it's you, old man, and I don't mean no disrespect, but... No, it's fine. I've gotten used to it. Let me say it. If we attack Sin head-on, we've little chance of winning. However, if he hears the hymn of the faith, he will become docile. Yeah, and that's when we make our move. Uh, might be against the rules and all, but who's keeping track, yeah? Screw yeah? the rules. You haven't betrayed their own teachings yeah, anyway. it could really work. As far as I'm concerned, you haven't not involved yeah. now. Yeah, it's worth a try. Okay, so we now have the ability to free roam. And first thing we're going to yeah. do... Uh, baby. Uh, before we can go after Animart, we need to revisit the Zanthan yeah. Ruins because there's something we need to go and pick up. So from here, if we just jump on this pad here, we need to make sure it's facing the right direction and we want the dome. That's going to drop us all the way to here. And then if we step on it again, when we aim it this way, we can take ourselves all the way to the inner section of the dome and cut out the middle line, if you will. When we get to the top of the stairs here, we are going to have another cutscene with Dana. What good is this place? All that trouble getting here only to find ruins. Well, a lot's happened. You should know. There's no more final summoning. What? What do you mean? Hey, we've got a plan, okay? And this plan's going to work? It has to! So, you're saying it's all in your hands now? Fine. You do what you like, however you like. I'll just wait my turn. Well, it doesn't matter who does the deed. 
you sure really need to stop to being it? so snobby. Technically, you, you just, have just saved your life we'll by defeating sin. Lady Ulesca. Oh, I'm Otherwise, sure you will. that but hench hello, shall Bartello we? there, he would have become your fate. The final summoning, and then he would have butchered you once killing Sin. So count yourself lucky. Okay, so you'll notice there are white symbols on this screen here, and we need to basically grab all of the white ones. So that's this one, uh, this one, and I believe it's the one up in the corner there. And then the other four are in the other room. Uh, let me just see, I think it's this one here, yep. And then... Uh, I do the guy buttons, I can't. Let me just uh, refer to the guy buttons. This is a picture of all the tiles on the floor and it will just help me to work it around. So it's that one, and then it's this one, and then there's one more around the other side, which is, oh, way up the lift straight We do not want to go back down there just yet. If we go back down there, we will end up running into Dark Bahamut, and by golly, we are not ready to fight him just yet. Uh, I think this is the last one. There we go. Once you have done that, it will start playing this song. And that will open the door. So, uh, if we make our way back in here, grab the destruction sphere and with our destruction sphere we'll now go ahead and make our way back through here and we're going to go ahead and stick it into I think it's this side it needs to go into I think I do have a habit of muddling this one up no nope, I got it right first time around this time alrighty we now have our last destruction sphere item which is the Magistral Rod now. If you've been doing everything that I have done, then you should also have got all six of them now. And if you haven't, well, let's just say things are going to be a little bit more of a challenge for you now. Okay, back onto the airship we go. And before we can get to this area, we're going to need to search for it. And we are looking for a place called Barge Temple, which can be typically found down in this bottom corner here. There it is. There are a few other locations to be found as well. Um, but I'll get those later on. Um, so now we'll go to List and we'll make our way to Barge Temple. Now we do have an optional boss fight to deal with in just a moment. And in order to deal with him, we are going to need to make sure that Riku, Waka and Tylus are equipped for dealing with petrification if we can. So let's just have a look at our arms here and see what we can and can't do in that respect. Uh, Oakley Dokley, looks like I might have to have a look at him. Well, isn't this a bit of a kick in the teeth? Not one of them has stone proof which is going to make this a bit of a problem if I don't do something. Let me see if I can do something about that. Let's start with you. Uh, okay this is not going to be an easy fight then because none of them can get stone proof right now. Okay, I'm going to save my game here a second because this could go horribly wrong since I don't have any stone proof. So ideally, like I said, you want stone proof, but if you haven't got it or can't get your hands on it, it's not the end of the world. You can still take him out. You just have to be a bit more cautious, I suppose you could say. Now, for God's sakes, do not use haste or haste to go in this fight because if you do, if he swallows one of your characters, he will then Something absorb here. 
That I almost got eaten from by a your fiend. character, time. and then he will end up I get the picture. All right, let's go. Perversely, I think the same might work if you cast it slow on one of your characters, but I'm not sure. Okay, so our opponent is none other than the beast that we fought right back at the beginning. And I'm actually going to put my theory to the test here. I'm going to put slow on to tie this a second because I want to see whether my theory is right. And hilariously funny it does work. Now that stone punch ability is the one that's going to cause us the trouble. That's the one that's going to potentially turn our team into solid statues. It doesn't always there's always the potential that we could, so we do need to be careful of that. Look where goes regroup, that's somewhat annoying. Right, is that literally all he's going to do is just constantly stone punch, because that's going to be really annoying, but that's all he's going to do. Well, this will put my uh, theory to the test. Yep, he's been slowed. Let's just uh, heal up a second. Really do getting some overdrives out here if I can, but well, there goes Tidus. I suppose really I should have got rid of that slow, but meh. Oh, for God's sake. He really needs to stop spamming that, it's really starting to get annoying now. Damn it! Ugh, okay. Okay folks, so if you're struggling for the whole stone proof stuff, what I've done is I've gone and powered up Tidus and Walker's overdrive since last time we got defeated. And I'm hoping by using the overdrives we can rip away the majority of his health. Or well, at least that's the idea anyway. He only has about 30k, so and all our hits there have just done just under 2k a time. So essentially, what I'm trying to do is instead of oops, I messed that up. Instead of trying to deflect his stone, I'm out speeding it if I can. He's gotta be close to death after all those attacks I've just hit him with. Surely he's gotta be close. Oh, yes, one more thing to just point out, folks. If he swallows one of your characters, for God's sake, do not kill him. 
hold your fire because if you do kill him while you've got a body in there it's not going to end well Killed me with that attack. Luckily, I stocked up on a lot of Mega Phoenixes a while back, so we're good. What's going on? Are we going to cast Mega Phoenix or what? What's going on? Uh, hello, Mega Phoenix? What is going on? Uh, I don't know. Okay, one second here, folks. Okay, so I don't quite know what happened there, folks. My game froze or, or something or other. So I've just had to pause the recording and uh, restart the entire application. I couldn't even soft reset it. It was having none of it. Um, so this is our third attempt now, which is obviously not my own fault. The game crashed on me. It just looked like the game crashed on me because I couldn't get it to do anything. Um, but hopefully this time round we will be a bit more um, successful. And I would say that attack reel was a much better attack reel than last time. So I suppose in some respect it's done us a bit of a favour. And we've overkilled him. There we have it, folks. So like I said, if you're struggling for stone protection, get Tidus and Rocker's Overdrive maxed out. As long as you've grinded enough, between the two of them, you should be able to finish him with an overkill by the looks of it. Um, but yeah, I do apologise for that, folks. I don't know what happened. Like I said, I think the game just sort of crashed on me or something or other. I've never seen it do that before. That was very, very strange. Um, but if any of you have seen the game do that before, then please do let me know in the comments section. Let me know your thoughts on that one. Because I would be very interested to... Um, you know, share on that one and just sort of get people's opinions and whatnot. Okay, so once you've defeated the creature, we can make our way through this door here. And this is where our six Destruction Sphere items come into play. As you can see, on either side of me sits three statues, and in front of me, an impenetrable gate. Now, each one of the Destruction Sphere items acts as a key to break one of the six seals. So we're going to go ahead now and we're going to break each of those six seals with the six items that we got. Now, you don't have to have kept the items in your inventory, you just have to have had them. And there is a couple of chests in here as well that we can grab. I'm going to grab those now. If you have not got one of the items, or not had one of the items, then the statues will not light up. Now, don't ask me which statue goes with which one, because I couldn't possibly tell you, because I have no clue myself. I would literally have to guess. There we go. And that should... Oh, hold on, we've got one more to go. should bust the seal and we are going to be needing to get our hands on Animar for the grind believe me he's going to really come in handy especially when it comes to farming for those triple AP weapons
You are Maester Seymour's mother. So you know, yet still you seek my aid. My son, do you not hate him? I wouldn't say we hate him, we just pity him. It is alright. He is the one who sowed the seeds of hatred. He is to blame. But I am at fault for letting him become what he was. He was always alone. Half Guardo, half man. I wanted to give him the strength to live by himself. And so I became a faith. But because I let him taste power, he began to thirst for more. He was not satisfied with my Aeon. He wanted more, more power. Hmm. Well, they do say that power and he corrupts. And found sin. Yes. And believe me, I speak Come, from first Sunder. experience on I will that bestow one, you with but my I'll power. leave that one there. The Dark Aeon, Anima, destroys sin and my son's obsession with it. Though it is small recompense for what I did to him. Okay, and there we go. We have got the beast itself, Anima. Alright then folks, well that's pretty much going to conclude this episode because I now have a lot of grinding to do. I will be spitting out some more episodes just to show you guys how I'm doing specific uh, bits of the grinding. So this will include um, what you need to capture for the uh, to unlock the creature for the triple AP weapons. I'll be showing you guys that. I'll be showing you guys how to do the Don Tombri trick. Uh, I'll also be showing you where to get the break HP and ribbon stuff from as well. well the armors that will come ready equipped with it. Um, I'll also show you where you can farm for the power, mana, speed and ability spheres. There's a really quick easy way to do that. Um, so yeah, that's all the different bits to the grind as far as I can think of at the moment off the top of my head. I will be like I said, covering each of those. Um, and obviously I'll also show you guys what you need to do to unlock the other things that you're going to need for this particular grinding method. So do stick around, well, sorry not stick around, do stay tuned for those episodes, they are still yet to come and will be done shortly. Alright then folks, well thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye for now folks, take care.